Hey guys, um, it's been a while, and you're going to have to excuse the cardboard background for the rifle. Um, this, I guess this is going to be my review of a Palmetto State Armory build. Um, I ordered one of their lower receivers during one of their sales, and then a little bit later got one of their upper receivers, and I'm going to tell you about a couple of modifications, what I think of Palmetto State Armory products in general, as well as some of the other stuff I have on this rifle. Um, I have to apologize to camera work, I'm just using my Droid, my Droid X. As you can see, I uh, bought one of their MOE lower build kits. I think you can see that there. That's stupid light. Yeah. Anyways, you know what an MOE looks like. I did buy the enhanced Magpul uh, butt pad. Um, I got it with the Magpul M-Bus rear sight. Magpul trigger guard. Uh, let's see what else. It did come with an MOE handguard on it. This is a carbine length gas system. Uh, as you can see, that's not there anymore. Uh, let me see if you can see it anywhere on this rifle. Uh, it looks like I covered it up, but this is a Daniel Defense carbine length gas front sight post. It's a 12 inch rail. Uh, I like it because I'm a little bigger guy and it lets me use that uh, extended arm technique very nicely. Of course you can see the Magpul AFG. This is the first iteration with the wings on it I guess you could say. Magpul bad lever. Uh, I really like how that works. Uh, I did a color fill on this. Uh, I used some, uh, oh, what is that stuff called? Uh, gunsmithing color fill is basically what they called it. It's like a, a resin. You uh, basically just get it in there like you would a crayon, and then it just hardens, and they say it's good forever. Man, that looks, looks really bad. Yeah, it's not focusing. Uh, the scope I've got on here, let me see if that'll show up, nah, probably not, that's all blurry, oh. it's an OptiSan Japanese secret optics, um, one, to, one to four power, uh, it's got a circle, dot, reticle, I mean, for 150 bucks, for the optic and the mount, I'm pleased. Of course, I don't have much experience with optics. Um, didn't have any problems sighting it in. It held zero so far, about 100 rounds. Okay, I think that's pretty much basic stuff. Um, so yeah, this, this rail is a full free float. Uh, I did have to take off the front sight posts and the gas tube and all that. And it came apart real nice, no problems. Uh, Palmetto did uh, good work on that, as far as I'm concerned. I know some people have had problems with their build qualities, but it I was pleased for my first build. Um, other things I've added is a, it's a light. I got it used off one of the forums. I believe it's a Pentagon Pentagon incandescent light and uh, it's got a tape switch that on this particular setup I've got the ladder covers. It, uh, it wedges in real nice and tight in there so I don't have to have any velcro or zip ties or anything holding it on then it just 
loops right underneath the Magpul RSA for my sling. And uh, up here, it's got a momentary on back here on this raised portion. It's a on off click switch. Uh, what else? The muzzle device I have on here. It's a Spikes Tactical Dynacomp. I'll get some detail on that. It's still dirty. I I shot it last week and I haven't cleaned it. I know, but uh, yeah. I can't say that I noticed a real difference, but I haven't. I don't have much experience. This is my first AR, as opposed to an A2 birdcage or any other type of. So I, I can't offer any decent info comparing it. But uh, I like uh, it. Looks neat. I mean, and it was a lot cheaper than a battle comp, so it's got that going for it. Uh, can't do this two-handed, but uh. I do have a BCM gunfighter charging handle in there. It's the medium latch. I can't remember which mod that is, but I like that a lot. That's real nice to activate and everything. Pleased with it. Um, I'm pretty sure that's that's about it. And that's my my first build. Probably my only build because. My wife does not like guns at all. I'm sure some of you guys can relate to that, but uh, for those of you who have wives who are cool with that, just be happy. <laughs> um, yeah, I've got about 400 rounds through this. I've had zero issues with uh, brass case ammunition. Um, I did try and shoot some uh, Tula Russian steel case ammo, and uh, first round that sucker it jammed in that chamber so tight after the round fired. Um, I had to take the rifle down and, and beat it out once it cooled down with a cleaning rod. I'm not gonna put that at the fall of the rifle. Um, when I first got it, I didn't clean out the chamber or anything. And, I haven't tried since, but uh, just it's been run perfect with the brass case, so I've just been running that. Maybe down the road, I'll try steel again, and maybe maybe check the chamber a little closer, get reamed out, or polish it. Right now, it's 100% on brass case. I'm not going to mess with it right now. Well, that's all. Pretty much all, guys. Sorry for the shoddy camera work, but uh, at least you'll kind of see what I got here. Um, again, I'm very pleased with it, especially for the cost. I don't really want to talk about how much I paid, but as opposed to buying, I saved several hundred dollars as opposed to purchasing a rifle with all this equipment on it. I would say at least $400 I saved, probably more. Anyway, uh, that's all, guys. Um, I'll, I'll list all the specs that I can think of in the description. and I appreciate any comments, concerns you have. More experienced guys. Um, yeah, just let me know. Uh, see you later, guys.